Hi everyone. It's been a while. I wanted to follow up on my airplane video. Uh, it was actually the first video that I made was a military exercise for the jets, but the thing was that I needed to show people a little bit more about the instruments, so I made the first one that was about 34 minutes long. Now, if you've watched that video before, um, before watching this, you're probably a little bit familiar with the instruments now, but again, I will go over them, and that was about the gyro compass and the altimeter that that maintain the airplane level with the ground and this is also again known as the artificial horizon now one of the things that I want to bring up is the fact that the military exercises that are used um, in the Air Force of course uh, is actually for uh, below radar and, and stealth detection um, there is uh, quite a few ways that they practice this and I'm going to demonstrate this in the video here, right here. This is going to be a F-18 Super Hornet. It's actually one of the air shows that they do around the world and also the country. It's called the Blue Eagles Air Show. If you've never heard of it or you've probably seen it on billboards or something, this is the kind of stuff that they do. They are actually pretty professional daredevils of the sky and they do some amazing barrel rolls and some low altitude stunts and you can do you can you can visit these guys when you're there in your area or you can see some on the on the YouTube channels but from right here you can see how far they are off of the lake and this is actually called a low pass flyby and like I said these are also exercises that are practiced by military in order to go below radar at about a hundred foot above the sea level or on land and it's practiced numerously now I'm going to show you this here because it's actually pretty cool. Watch that again. And from what you see there is that the plane is actually about a good 30 to 40 feet off of the ground because the dimensions of the Super Hornet is about 60 feet in, in length. Now, to do the below radar training on the sea or on land, they actually fly about 100 feet or maybe a little lower and they do it continuously to go over the surface of the land or the water and in order to do that they do it for very many miles I mean they can go upwards from 50 miles to 200 miles and the actual test that I want to show you is that how these military jets don't compensate for the curvature is the fact that they actually do this for about an hour or 30 minutes um, and they do this with training on on land or sea and right here I have the the test that they can do or anybody can do really but um this math is pretty simple the um, military aircraft with no autopilot is usually how it's done and it's for about 30 minutes above the ocean surface at a hundred foot altitude for 30 minutes at 400 miles an hour now at 400 miles an hour that's 60 minutes um, that's going to be 6.66 miles per minute. Now 30 minutes at 6.66 miles per minute is about 199.8 miles traveled in a straight line. And they do not curve down for any curvature. Now, now the pilot would have, if the ball is actually, you know, like the Earth's radius at 3,959 miles, the pilot would have traveled 199.8 miles with about 319,000 inches of curvature below them in just 30 minutes if they didn't nose down for the curve. Now we all know that water is always level and the planes actually go against free fall acceleration so they're able 
to go against the free fall acceleration and do what they want. Now, when they're traveling in this straight line in 30 minutes at those inches, when you convert them by 12, that's 26,613 feet. Or you can convert that to miles, that's going to be 5.05 .05 miles above the ocean. So they're traveling above the ocean at 100 foot altitude training for the below radar exercises and if they do not nosedive down they're gonna be five miles above the ocean so again right here I put the equation it's gonna be 198 miles on a spherical earth with a radius of 3959 miles radius is the miles squared times 8 the inches divided by 12 which is 26,613 feet plus the 100 feet that they were already maintaining so it's going to be 26,700 foot of curvature drop in just 30 minutes if they don't compensate for the curve and basically it's five miles above sea level if, they're, if they don't nose down and I want to show that also again with AutoCAD I'm going to make a circle of 3959 miles zoom out because it's pretty big and again this is AutoCAD and uses 15 digit precision it's AutoCAD Civil 2016 if you're not familiar with this program it's an architectural program it's very precise and it is the best and it's the best for quite a few reasons now I'm gonna do a convert to get my calculator here I got a my units on this diagram here that I'm making on the architectural design program is on miles so I have to convert a hundred miles to I mean a hundred feet to miles sorry about that which is point zero one eight nine three point zero one eight nine three that represents one hundred feet above the surface on a spherical earth so and right now we're gonna go 200 miles and I'm gonna get a dimension here if they travel at a straight line like planes do because of the of the gyro compass it's the artificial horizon so that keeps the plane level it moves with the plane if you haven't watched my video I'll link it below and I'm gonna take a linear dimension of the curvature drop and if you see there it comes out to about 5.074 miles and I'll do another dimension here for the distance so you can all see that in fact it is 200 miles now remember that I rounded this up to 200 miles and the diagram that I made was at 199.8 but it's so this just about the same 5.04 and this one is at 5.07 now anyone can put this to the test uh, the math is correct and the comments will be available on the bottom as usual people can comment if you have any friends in military that know about this stuff they can confirm it and please you know keep the comments uh, civil don't uh, bash people I mean there's a lot of name calling on this kind of stuff and there's no reason to do that so keep we're all adults and we're all on this together so I guess this is it for now and I will talk to you all later